Well, this weekend's parade isn't the only holiday tradition happening. For 42 years, the nonprofit KSI, or Center for Active Seniors, has been hosting a series of races on the Saturday of St. Patrick's Day. And this year, there's going to be a 5K, a family fun run, and a tot trot for the little ones. Earlier, we sat down with KSI to find out why this year's runs are more important than ever for the nonprofit. All right, Laura, thank you so much for joining us. We are less than 24 hours away from the big day. Talk to me about all the races happening for KSI tomorrow. I know, I can't believe that we're so close already. So we have actually three races. Um, we have a tot truck that starts at nine in the morning, a one mile family fun run for a little bit of the bigger kids and maybe folks like myself that don't really run, that starts at 9.30. And then our big 5K that everyone is so interested in uh, starts at 10 o'clock. So we're super excited. Mother Nature has finally cooperated. I think it's gonna be gorgeous down there tomorrow morning. So we're super excited. Well, yeah, I mean, last year even was so brutal. I'm sure this will be a breeze compared to that. Exactly. I'm not a runner, but our runners tell us anything 40 and above is like ideal running. And, you know, 2020 and 2021, we had to cancel because of COVID. And then 2022 and 2023, we're in the negatives on race morning, negative four and negative eight. So we're, we're almost 60 degrees warmer than we were last year at this time. So I think everyone's going to, we're seeing it in the numbers. People are looking at the forecast. They're registering by record numbers now. And so there's a lot of excitement going on. I think finally of just getting back out there and doing some fun things again in the spring so record numbers what do you mean by that well so well last year for example we had 899 <laughs> folks that registered for the event and we are looking at over 1100 right now so we're hoping that with the weather being so nice tomorrow and saturday even up until race time that we'll get a couple hundred more folks that are interested in coming out runners do that they surprised me what, like you said, you broke your foot and you're going to just go see what happens. You know, I would have to train for six months for that to happen, but, <laughs> but they'll come out on race morning if the weather's really nice and they're, you know, feeling pretty good about it, they'll register. So we're hoping we get a couple hundred more. So I love it. Talk to me about how important this fundraiser is for KSI. I mean, it's been a tough few years for you guys. It has been, you know, in 2020, I think most folks know that we were one of the only charities that was forced to be closed for an entire year because of the population that we serve. Uh, the organization lost over $700,000 in earned revenue. Uh, the couple years later, last year, we lost our Scott County funding, which funded our two mission-based programs. And so it, it really is events like this that allow KSI to maintain services to seniors. They are the fastest growing demographic over the last 10 years. We've seen a 40% increase in the 65 and older population here. It's the single fastest growing age demographic. And so it's critical that we have services like what we're offering at KSI. And we can only do that if we have the funding to do so. And so these fundraisers that people love and have come to cherish every single year, it's our 42nd year, they're super important to our annual budget. So someone signs up and they run the race, not only do they get to give back to KSI and help out your mission, but they also, I hear there's a party at the end of it. There is a party. So we have an after party. It's going to be indoors this year. Uh, we have been outdoors when it has been raining, snowing, sleeting. I can't tell you everything under the sun. So we're going to be indoors this year inside the Hotel Doubletree uh, ballroom. And we have Funktastic Five coming to join us. We have uh, free beer for our runners. And if you're not a runner, if you don't have a bib, but you still want to come down and see the band and have some beer and some snacks, you can pay $10 at the door to come see the band. So an amazing wonderful fun and warm Saturday exactly <laughs> exactly yes I need to I need to reach out to some weatherman or something <laughs> and thank them for whatever prayers they sent up <laughs> I know a few I'll pass along the message. okay that would be great <laughs> thank you Laura thank you so much for joining us thank you so much Again, you can still register in person at the Davenport Doubletree before the race or online. And we have a link to do so on our website under the As Seen on TV tab.